What's up guys, Shea Pat Diecast here with a brand new NASCAR Diecast review. And today we're going to be looking at Rowdy Bush's 2023 McLaren Custom Grill Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 Talladega Spring Race Virgin. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. Quick 360 of the car. This was a scheme I was really glad that Kyle Busch actually won in. He won in two cars that they did not produce for him last year. And McLaren, the McLaren car being one of them, and that sponsor is gone. All the sponsors decided to dip, like Netspin, McLaren, what else? What else? Free Chi was gone for a while. Alsco has gone. Oh, it's a pretty good looking car, actually. I like the red and black. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the details of this car. So on the front, we have the number eight. We have the Chevrolet Bowtie ZL1 RCR. We have some confetti stuck on the splinter. On the hood, we have McLaren Custom Grills and a grill right there. Take a look underneath under the hood. There's actually just a Chevy bow tie on the bottom side of the hood. There's our engine detail, if you care to see it. Of course, we got the Geico 500 blue and green confetti, which I guess they haven't done in a while. I think I've gotten... Who won in 2022? Who won that race? I don't remember. I might as well sit here and think about it. 2022. That's gonna bother me. Anyways, we're, we're getting way off topic. <laughs> so on the uh, window banner, we have the Chevrolet, Bowtie, and Bush under there somewhere. We got some uh, tear-off tabs. We got the number eight, McLaren Custom Grills. More confetti on the back. You can just barely see the DIN number. This is number 965. We got McLaren Custom Girls on the deck lid. And on the back, we have the big red um, restrictor, not restrictor plate, sorry. This one actually has, uh, those are actually molded on. Hmm, I did not notice that. That's actually pretty cool. Um, the big ass super speedway Spoilers, not restricted plate. Um, we've got McLaren Custom Grills, Akuma, got the number eight Camaro, a little bit of stray confetti on the back. On the left side of the car, we have a little bit of dirt and grime. Got a little bit of a, a tire mark right there under the eight. A little slat, a little. Got some marks on the eight right here. NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR 75th Anniversary, McLaren at Custom Grills. A bet, G bet MGM, Alsco Uniforms, Cheddar Scratch Kitchen, and 3 Chi. We got another mark right there. Our get biethanol ring. Got our grill. And on the B post, we have Netspin, Lenovo. On the B post, we have Chevrolet, Lucas Oil Products, Sherman Williams, PTC, Cometa, and KCMG. I think that's another sponsor that is not with them anymore, is KCMG. We got Rowdy before we went back to the signature. Got the two race winner stickers. Let's take a look at the right side, which is pretty much the same as the left. We just got more confetti. Slightly more cleaner than the right side as far as damage goes. Got some confetti on the tires. It's a pretty solid race win. If you want some damage and confetti, this is a good one for you. And a rare scheme. This is kind of this kind of hits all the marks. It's the only way you can get this actual scheme. That's pretty much it for the car itself. Let's take a look at our goodies, I guess, that come with it. Got our stat rate, our stat card. He won this by just surviving. Was it Bubba Wallace and who else? Was it, was it Ryan Blaney? Was it Bubba Wallace and Ryan Blaney that wrecked? I know one of them was Bubba Wallace, but I can't remember the other culprit. Might have been Rosh Saint. I don't know. My memory is garbage. I have slept a lot and drank a lot since then there is our winner sticker our generic race winner box there's our render of the car legal stuff 85 dollars at opry mills is where i got it so ridiculous that they have to charge so much for these now And they made 1,068 of these. So there's the box. We'll take one last look at the car itself. Our st 
that card and our sticker. So that's pretty much it. Um, this car's been out for a little while now. Um, I think it's already rare. Don't take my word for it, but I believe it's already rare. This is the perfect, like I said, it's a perfect combination for a rare car. A fairly low production number. Um, a scheme you can only get of a popular driver. The only way you can get this scheme of a popular driver, and it's a race win. And Talladega race wins seem to get rare for some reason over time. But anyways, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, please do a thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow me on my Instagram page at jpat_diecast, And we'll see you on the next video. Peace out, guys.